friend of your father. He was a stand-up guy. We're gonna need a new hitman. You are the right man for the job. You will go to California. Rosalini will train you personally. They call him the Rose. Do you listen to him? A veggie dog is like a target. You eat it too fast, you choke. How you learn from him? I want those rows straight. Now rake. He's the best there is. To train a killer. Oh, look, you got all the way through to the seas. You need a target. Angel chased. And as I took him inside of me, Angel dog. I felt his manliness come alive. Okay, she's it. She's what? Target practice. When the victim is ready, the assassin will appear. You didn't miss. You hear everything. She's an innocent victim. I keep wrecking my brain trying to think of anyone who might want to kill me, but I just don't know anyone that well. Who's not so innocent? Why don't you let me take your confession? A Protestant. And nobody's victim. I'm looking for a book on self-defense against an assassin. Angel? This woman has many souls. So what do I do now? You finish her. You! What did I do? Do not kill this girl. Everything I teach you has a purpose. You broke the first rule of contract assassination! Not listening to me! See here! You mean she tracked us down and took a shot at us? Uncle Vinny wants an obituary. You and me are gonna give him one. She's a natural. James Belushi. Is this about that parking ticket of the airport? Cheryl Lee. Why'd you pick me? You were in the phone book. Angels dance. A woman with a gun. Seems mine is bigger than yours. Size doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does. Is never an easy target. You know, those girls have been lying to me all those years. This is Ann Winslow on WZIN, and you're listening to Classical After Dark in Philadelphia. Tonight, there's more than music in the air. I think we got ourselves a serial here. Two victims in the same week, same M.O., same murder weapon. Because somebody who wants her. By the way, some more roses arrived for you. Oh, is there a card? It was blank. We'll stop at nothing. Same station, same announcer. To make her his own. Good luck with the concert tonight. Sorry I won't be there. A mysterious killer. So how does this involve me? According to the autopsy reports, both murders occurred sometime during your program. Who somehow tuned in. Oh my god. It implies that you're involved somehow. But I'm not. To her frequency. Three bouquets of identical red roses, and each one arrived on a day that one of these murders happened. No card, no way of knowing where they came from. And a police detective who suddenly has more on his mind. I could give you a ride home. Whoever it is probably knows where I live. You can stay in my place. Than just trying to solve a murder. The roses came in that. She was frightened. Oh, she... Now, they're all about to find themselves caught up in a symphony of pure evil. You came on to me all night. Nothing but ghost signals. And now you think you want to stop. Composed by a signature killer. You find some matching fibers in the crime scene, a vial of Fenadryl, a couple bottles of Bordeaux. You might even need a confession. But can he stop a maestro in the fine art of murder before he commits his command performance? He's getting close to me. You know, I can feel it. Molly Ringwald. It's him! Chris Heardall. Detective Blue Heinz, Homicide Division. <laughs> Chris Mulkey. I like 
watching people do what they do best. Plus, kill. Addressed to you, blank card. Al Oliver was on his way to becoming a professional golfer. But that was a long time ago. I still do have a line on that position as assistant golf pro over at Vista Creek. These days, he has to place his pride aside. I'd rather have my apartment ransacked and my life threatened on a weekly basis than go back to golf. And take on a new job. You know, you won't even have to play golf. You just have to teach it. Okay, fine. All right. Oh, there's your group over there. Those are kids. Teaching a bunch of nerds. Golf is a terrible habit. If you're looking for a healthy way to spend a hot, sunny afternoon, I recommend you guys take up smoking. Was the last challenge he ever wanted to take up. He sucks. He's right. I suck. So what? Everybody sucks at golf. That's the beauty of the game. How's the teacher? If he was any more unmotivated, he'd be a parking meter. And even though they began to show improvement... <laughs> Sandwich. Being a loser was par for the course. Bert, oh. grab my wood. Oh. Thank you. Oh. You got that 20 you owe me? I better get back to the kids. Oh. Oh. Don't you care about winning? Sweetheart, it's not whether you win or lose in life. It's how you pass the plane. Until he ran into the man who beat him once before. Oh, no. Al Oliver? Almost didn't recognize you with your new look. Zip Davis. It's been a long time. Yes, the last time would have been in 79. I beat you in the last... Right, right. Whoa, I'll do it. Now, if fate was going to put him against an arch rival... We practiced for a couple weeks. We played for the Seattle Junior Team Cup. Bend your knees. Ice and loose, kids. Arms straight, head down. Good luck, Golden Ridge. And Vincent the Creek. He was determined to turn a bunch of losers into winners in a championship match yes, that would get them all out of the rough. He was putting for the first birdie of his life. He'll choke. You can do it. Tom Arnold is getting into the swing of things in National Lampoon's Golf Punks. 